Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 1 of our short rap campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we finally managed to pass our law on uh, Max Tribal Organization. So, that's great. Now we're allowed to become a Republic, but the only problem that we have, the only thing that's stopping us is a lot of wars our stupid allies calling us in. So, we spent pretty much pr uh, the whole previous episode waiting for the wars to finish, but it didn't happen. So, now we're gonna continue doing this uh, in this one episode. So, uh, in the previous episode, we got caught into the war as allies of Axum, but now we're not a part of this war anymore, so we could continue uh, raiding him, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I had a plan on uh, burning down Thais and Aden, and I think it needs to be done. Should I be raising my vassal troops, or should I just use, it, use my uh, personal ones for that? Mmm, not entirely sure. I'm just gonna use our personal ones for one, for now, because... Actually, no. Who cares about my vassals? They don't hate me or, uh, right now for raising troops, so... It shouldn't really hurt too much. And yeah, let's hope all of this war's gonna end relatively quickly, and they finally gonna give us a chance to become a freaking republic. We lost our spy master, okay? My trust in the wounded Chamberlain just brought to my attention that one of the servant maids have given birth to a child. According to him, my son is the father. Uh, so my son could become lustful. That is the one who is dull. Interesting. And lose 10 piety. Force him to adopt the child to prevent scandal. Mm, give him a bit information with inferiors. Gains wrath, gains ambitious. Huh. Why on earth he would become ambitious from he, uh, from that? Or send him to confess his sins? Uh, do I need him uh, for him to become lustful? He's like my third... Or fourth born. Let's just make him confess sins and that's gonna be good enough, I guess. War camp has been built in tribe of Mac. Okay. Do we have enough prestige to build anything else? So war camp is at max level. Great. Let's... What do I need for in here? Shipbuilding level at least 2. Okay. Yeah, let's go and work on practice. On level up practice range. And we need a new spy master, looks like. Any powerful vassals who's willing to be a spy master as this guy? Oh, you're so damn terrible and you're a powerful vassal. 2 to 2 5. Oh, so. Your, your strong side is uh, spy mastery, so sure. You're gonna become my depressed. Spy master, and I'm just gonna send you to Constantinople on vacation. Let's hope you're not gonna get accidentally castrated while uh, while being there. Mm, marriage between one of my courtiers and my goodness, something is happening with my mouth and some random revolt. Idris revolt. No, I actually would need to decline. I think. I'm pretty sure we're allied with Idrisid, so I don't really want to mess with them. You spend weeks in the wilderness and you find nothing. Okay, sure, fine. Tulun is actually expanding in this direction a little bit too much. Most of the time, uh, the one who is expanding is opposites, but probably because I'm now in here. I'm actually kind of preventing opposites to go in this direction, so they're probably gonna decide to go... Oh, Safarids actually took all of this, like Armenian, Georgian lands. That's weird. Uh, I'm not gonna allow you this marriage. Screw you. Oh, s oh are you gonna now <laughs> pro propose me to marry uh, every single one of my courtiers? Yeah, you fucking would. Could you please stop? By the way, we have 2,000 ducats. That's crazy. Uh, fuck off. And we have more wars. Second Pada Holy War for Bakar. Should I just break all of my alliances? If he's gonna propose me another one, and he would, I'm probably just gonna accept. Take my freaking courts here and... Peace off, because... <laughs> he's gonna propose me this every month. Population in Baida has been converted to Shia. Where is that? Baida? Baida, oh! Our newly conquered province. Okay, that's surprising. Where is my uh, chancellor right now? In Hijaz. And still... Did not get converted? Okay, so... You could sit here for now. Our armies are almost gathered. Oh, come the 
<laughs> Frag on. How many wars could you have at the same time? Yeah, five, five of them wars. Oh, and Abbasids have a huge revolt. I think we're allied with Abbasids right now. Also, where the heck is the Abbasid capital? A second ago it's been here. Where is it now? It got moved for some reason. Oh, looks like there's a new... There's a new ruler in the Abbasids, probably. And what this revolt is about? War against tyranny. Okay. That's fine. Not gonna, uh, not gonna try to re-up my alliance with Abbasids quite yet. i just wait. Wait and see how the revolt gonna resolve. I'm gonna split these armies in half and just try to pillage two of these provinces at the same time. One of the ways for us to probably pass the law or become a republic would be uh, to to just inherit. For, uh, for me to die and my son inherit. And then probably we're gonna leave the wars or at least our alliances probably gonna stop existing and I could just wait a little bit before re them. Try to be become a republic. And this guy already have as I already mentioned a couple of times, a lot of health debuffs because there's great pox, because of stress so the chances are quite high he could uh, die relatively soon because... Uh, excuse me? Are we... <laughs> could he please stop doing this? Yeah, this happened again I didn't pay attention but we're allied with Axum yet again oh, Let's just pillage the Umayyad revolt then what the hell? This game just prevents me from doing any fun. Let's actually combine these armies because uh, we couldn't really pillage two provinces at the same time in here. I don't think Abbas is going to be upset about me pillaging their rev uh, revolutionaries, right? Or uh, how could I call? Uh, how do you call? How could you call them? Revolters. Non-aggression pact between someone and someone who has been dissolved. Great. Yeah. As I said, like two episodes ago, we've been seasoned with zero wars for an entire episode. And in the episode where we need to become a republic, of course, there's like a war happening every two months, which is crazy. Also, I have nowhere to spend my money right now. This is kind of concerning. Mm, yeah, actually, no, I could build a market village in Sana, but it's actually not my own province. So no, no, no point for that. What's the point of me spending money on my vassals? I don't think there is any valid reason. Okay, and we are now officially old. We just turned 15, we changed our portrait to old one. So how's our health looking? From Tau Soldier we receiving plus 0.5, from this we receiving 1. So we have like 1 and half, 1.5. Great box give me minus 2, so it's minus 0.5, and this is minus 1, so we have minus 1.5 HP and we're still alive. Which is kind of weird, we don't have a hunting dog anymore. I don't think any of these other, uh, any of these other things give me health uh, buffs, so that's weird. So these guys probably are gonna dislike me a little bit for pillaging lands, and Abbasids probably don't mind it. I just should be careful and try uh, try to get rid of my pillagers in here as soon as the rebellion gonna finish. Religious defense, yeah, okay. So how's your war score looking? 16% in favor of Abbasid Revolt. But not for long, I guess. They have 4,000. Okay, one of the wars ended. He have 4,000 and Abbasids have 10,000, so... No way you're gonna win this uh, war, I'm pretty sure. Or this rebellion. Mm, a large merchant caravan from distant lands have arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Sure, come in. Tell me more about Hindustan. Hindustan is not even that, that far from us, so... You probably should know something about that uh, already. You could give me a eunuch. Yeah, no, no real reason for me to decline it, right? Also, what is army? Oh, it's just a second host war. I think he already called me into the war against the host. I hope this guy's not gonna be trying at least to... to siege down my lands or anything. Okay, we have some points in technology to spend. Monthly piety, monthly prestige... Oh, well, let's go... yeah. Get into majesty. Get rid of the short reign. 
gets a... Actually, we probably don't have short reign. It says minus zero years. Maybe the... Actually, never mind. It does decrease it. I thought may maybe like Sunni or Muslim rulers do, do not have a short reign, but they probably do. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of this a little bit and let's get some extra prestige and piety. A certain chest made of unknown metal was recovered by your man while they looted the holding. Great. How much money we got? 40 ducats. Not too bad. Yeah, when we're gonna become a republic, we're gonna have... We're gonna be able to build all the trade posts immediately. It's actually uh, quite nice, quite neat. So, this one host we're gonna end soon. This one liberation revolt hopefully gonna end soon. <laughs> yeah, probably the only my, uh, my only concern is the war with Amalfi, because looks like this one gonna last for a long freaking time. And what this war is actually about? War for Tripolitania. Oh, so you want to take all of this duchy? And we're gonna have Amalfi right in Africa. I don't think I ever, th uh, I ever seen this happening in my previous game, so that's kind of scary a little bit. How's Umayyads? They're not at war with France anymore. Why? Mm, no idea. I'm pretty sure they've been at. Oh, okay, there it is. Truce with Sultanate was won by. Oh, Umayyads actually won the war against France. Yeah. That's actually great. So this guy's now in a huge debt, so let's hope France is just gonna start falling apart because of this mistake. I really hope so. Because they are kind of getting out of control. Mm. Where... Could you please stop ruining my alliances? These events are really annoying. I know they, they need uh, some way for me to, uh, like, for some, some way in the game to... Uh, make alliances uh, weaker, but actually maybe it's gonna be helpful for me because there's gonna be one less person for uh, to call me into the war. So I will swallow my pride and take responsibility or false accusations. That's false accusations. Screw you. And would you break our alliance or not? Okay, looks like nothing happening. So there's probably like a randomized chance that the alliance gonna get destroyed or not. Okay, so we burn down the city. It's dark, it's great, and there's... What are we sieging down right now? There's no more holdings, but we're still sieging something. Oh, I'm, prob I'm probably helping, <laughs> helping this guy to siege down uh, the holding because they're at war. No, I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. Mm. And yeah, looks like our alliance with Suffer is still Still here, and I got some prestige out of that, so I guess that's fine. Uh, how's our upgrade in Mecca? It's finished. Let's go and get another one practice range. Or another one level of practice range. And a daughter need... Uh, oh, a genius daughter. She's playful, affectionate, and timid. Uh, affectionate in here. Playful and fuzzy. If she's a genius... I'll just make you into intrigue education. Maybe you're gonna be in now. Maybe gonna help me kill all of my vassals who need to be killed. And we're still allied to this guy, so I guess I'm just gonna disband my troops for now, because there's nothing really else I could uh, burn uh, right now around me. Only if I were to use bows, but I'm actually kind of lazy and don't really want to do this right now. Okay, host for Egypt finished. So that was the war with Axum. Maybe I was a little bit too quick about disbanding my troops. Oh well. If you're gonna... <laughs> if you're gonna st uh, call me into third war, where the I'm gonna be my ally, I'm gonna get kind of upset. Because I want... Oh my goodness. What the hell is that? Uh, Shaohan Holy War for Bakar. Yeah, having an alliance with this guy was a definitely a mistake, because he's now falling apart, and everyone wants to take a chunk. Is there any way I could break our alliance with him? Mm. Actually, oh yeah, you, Synth. I couldn't dissolve the alliance, because we're fighting a war together. 
Okay. And some of my other sons became decadent. Or actually, this is the one who's been already decadent before. Please straighten up. Good. Good, good, great. Mm, who could be imprisoned? This guy. Why? Now he couldn't. Okay. <laughs> who? Ah, okay, so he's been uh, seeking to kill someone, but we have out of stop plots. So... We probably ask him to stop it uh, automatically. Where the fuck this guy is going? I have a feeling he's going to engage my army. Oh, and apparently... Apparently this little... Whatever is that... Is a connection. From Hatiri to Sana, even though it doesn't make any sense. And now I'm gonna lose... Oh, now we... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> so... He engaged into the battle, but I think uh, our modifier for him for looting him expired, and now we're no longer hostile, and the, the battle just ended immediately. That's weird. By the way, we got caught into some other war second ago, and Amalfi seems to be winning their war. So yeah, we're gonna have Amalfi in Africa, which is not great, and we have even more. Dec oh, my heir became decadent again. Please straighten up. Nice. Please straighten up. Actually. Looks like me making these people straighten up. Give me extra moral authority. I don't know in which way. Probably just by giving me piety or something. Who knows. Uh, How is this guy in Medina? Still Sunni? Still not close for me to... Not close enough for me to... Deal with. To convert. Okay, we're allied with Tulunids again, but not with Axum. So I hope we're gonna be able to burn down these two provinces. And yeah, this guy already needs to die. Our next character is pretty decent. I would like to play as him and... I would like to be able to do some decisions. It's freaking worse. So... No, I'm not gonna be dissolving any alliances. If I, if I would be able to, I would uh, dissolve an alliance with this guy because he's not... Excuse me. Helpful at all. But the rest I would prefer to keep, even though they're gonna be calling me into some bullshit wars. But at least they're relatively sizable, so... Uh, if any danger gonna, like... If anyone gonna be threaten our realm, this guy's gonna be helpful in our defense. Actually, Tulonis might turn this war with Amalfi around. Yeah, they have 3700 troops. Also, we improved relations with this guy and another one, son. Decadent, please stop being decadent. Luckily, they all accepting my demands. Probably because we have decent relations with him or something. But yeah, that's nice. Don't want any decadence. Uh, yeah, we're going on the hunt again. That's fine. And we're still alive. I don't know why do we have so much luck. But apparently we do. For this corner through the countryside, you came upon a small cottage. Yeah, let's have great time. General opinion plus one diplomacy also. And no, I don't need any lower. Uh, is it gonna improve relations with every single vassal in here? Yeah, this character had great time plus ten. That's actually a little bit OP. Seventh is a little bit OP. But sure, I'm still not gonna be able to convert anyone because I'm a freaking ally in the uh, in the war. So that's also one of the stupid things. I don't understand why you couldn't convert people while you're at war. I don't know how, how this could be exploited. Uh, my grandson needs focus. You're going to be focusing on struggle. And my son needs a focus. You're going to be focusing on pride. Uh, what is this thing? Makuria. Have you been independent? Probably. Why are you raising troops? It taken... Who? Alodia. In some claim war, okay. But at least we finally burned down Ax Axum. Do we have any siege leaders? I doubt it. Yeah, we do not, unfortunately. I guess we're gonna be sieging it old fashioned way. We actually have 4,000 troops, so. If you were to consider engaging me, I might be in trouble. I don't think you would be doing this. But actually, it's already time for me to have a break, guys. So unfortunately, we didn't got any. 
further in our progress of becoming a republic in this particular episode, but we are down to three wars right now only, so... And this character gonna die relatively soon, so maybe I'm gonna find a way to freaking be at peace for once. So, if you enjoyed watching the secret, leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, just definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.